Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. Today, we're going to be looking back at the custom turret system. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be looking at two different types of turret designs. And one of them is the traditional way that I built this turret, which was set the hinge in, and you'll notice here that we have this hinge pretty much the way that I did it the first time. We got our hinge turret set in, our connector block, our pipe, whatever you want to call it, put in, and our two guns with our camera. Now we're going to head over here to our control block, and I'm going to show you just what I'm talking about by shooting this wall over here. Because some of you will notice this problem while running your own guns and, and customized weapon systems. So taking control of this gun... We are going to start strafing from one part of this wall to the bottom. You're going to see something very interesting happen. As we fire. Now you can see the dent being made inside the wall at this moment. And there is a reason for this. Now, I cannot go any further down. You see this. And, and how this has become. So you can see the indention in the wall there, or in the target wall. We have dropped to a certain point, and I would like to just show everybody what we have dropped to. The turret is now come to about a 90 degree angle. Now, why is this? Well, the turrets only move to a 90 degree angle at all times. So it really, the, the problem you're going to run into almost immediately when building these turrets is if you have these guns stacked with any kind of block space in between your ship, you will have a weak point. The gun will be able to target your player, your pirate, anything or any enemy to about a linear plane at this 90 degree angle. Meaning that once you go past it, it's not going to be able to shoot at you anymore. So this means that if you're hoping this is going to take out Hydra Man, uh, Hydra Man has just got to get to this point here, and then he just slips right underneath your fire range. How do we fix this? Well, one, we have to get the turret to turn to a 90 degree angle. Now, building the turret as we did before, the difference that we've done now, or that I've done now, is we have placed the turret in exactly the way it was before. You can see this is how the turret goes in in the tutorial as you put it in. But we've added two elbow pipes with one of the new armored T-blocks. We've added the camera, same two guns. Now what should happen is we still have the same range of motion with this turret as we did with the old one. The difference is, in order for this turret to reach the right angle here, this turret will not reach the right angle, and you're going to see just how much of a range we have with this gun. So, going back to the menu here, we get a hold of our turret gun, and we're going to open up and just start strafing our way down. And we're going to see just how far and how much damage we can actually do when we get done here. As we keep going down, 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 keep going down, down, you can see we have just an amazing amount of durability here. We're going to keep going down to the point, and I'm going to stop the gun right there. Now, hopping out, you can see we were able to strafe all the way down this wall all the way to the bottom. And if you look at the turret here, it's the only problem with this. The turret is almost about ready to hit itself because as this turret turns, it is going to have the, it is going to turn this hinge to a 90 degree angle. Now this comes with a few costs, but they're actually not that big a deal. You actually gain a lot by doing this with this turret. Yes, it can turn and it has a 90 degree angle back and forth with a 100 with I think it what is it a 180 degree angle yeah 180 degree almost a flat plane so this gun can stop sight a target here and it can turn its full radius over to the back problem with this 
is it can go all the way down, but the moment it has to go up, it's going to be stopped by the tar. It's going to be stopped here. This is a slightly better handicap to have with your turret than this one, because though this one has a full range of motion all the way around it, it cannot engage targets on a certain plane. And if you put this turret on top of another ship, you're going to have to just stack another turret here, another turret there, just to get the full coverage. And even then, only one of these turrets, maybe two, are going to be able to engage at one time. Whereas with this, all it will do is the turret will go up to its maximum distance, which will be this 90 degree here, the new 90. It'll hit its maximum point, turn around, and just continue its fire rate all the way down through. So as I said, this is a much better way of building your turrets. Uh, don't 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 build them like this over here. This is why I'm building this video. This is the tutorial turret right over here. This here is the turret you want to build. This is how you want to get your guns working, how you want your railgun systems working and all that. This gives you a greater range of motion with your turret and enables you to hit more targets at a faster rate. You do not want to... You do want, if you're putting stuff on ships, you want to do something like this. So just build a, a nice little pipe over the top, put the new little T-block in, and then set your guns on your camera as normal, and you'll have this really high-angle turret. Let's just see how far I can... Just for giggles here. See how far down I can push this thing. Okay. Yeah, you can see just how far you can turn the turret in. And normally what I do is I will build the turrets out a bit so that they will bang into that and stop themselves. And that prevents the guns from firing. That's why quad barrel guns, in my opinion, on a hinge system are far superior to just two guns in the middle. Yes, it, it does give you a lot better range, but also it stops the gun at just the right location to where you're not shooting your own ship. Anyway, folks... Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this was informative and fixed a whole lot of problems with everybody. Uh, this is the thing about space engineers, okay? It's it's called space engineers for a reason. You are going to run into problems, uh, and it's okay to make mistakes on this game so long as you learn from those mistakes. And this is me learning from a mistake and trying to help y'all out with uh, your builds. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Badge Wild, and I will... See you guys next time.